This video is brought to you by Squarespace. What the heck? Why is there so many Game Boys on the edge of this table? What's up, dog? Good morning, good morning. How about the Commodore tape player thingy? These give me 30 dollars. 30 bucks? Yeah. Okay, is this it? Is it going there maybe, or is it in there? Yeah. Oh, nice, okay, yeah, yeah. The 30 bucks, and then how much were these? Uh, 40 each, or all three? 100 for the three? Yeah. Okay, let me, let me poke around. Thank you, thank you. It has all this stuff, which makes it cool though. The handy that pack and this, look, they both have them. This is really cool, but it's from 2002. It's the G.I. Joe Cobra Conquest X30. Super cool, really like the art, even though it's, you know, a little bit newer, but not, it's still, still old. Night Rider. Put that here, alarm clock. Ricky, you know what this reminds me of to the core? It reminds me of the dad, the stepdad's sweater in uh, Santa Claus. Oh my gosh, the, the, right. the therapist dad, it looks just like his sweatshirt also. Dude, I can't unsee it now. I know. <laughs> Thanks to me editing for Hustle at Home Mom. Name and Marcus exclusive. Could this be worth something? Good morning, y'all. We're jumping in quick and hot. Oh, and as I said that, here we go. Great little tapes. Lots of anime right here and Captain Power. I gotta ask how much these are right here. It's a whole lot of, of cool anime stuff. Felix, a little Sonic one? X right here. Yeah, I said, oh, I was like, Cap Captain Power. I gotta see about all this stuff though. This is looking nice already. Let's see your shot, Ricky. Oh, 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 first one. I mean, if you miss that, I'm gonna be, oh. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I'll show you guys in a little bit what I got it a, a, a few booths ago. I never showed you guys because we got busy. But uh, Gizmo and the Gremlins, Escape from the, Gre the Gremlins, I've owned these before. So these are little vinyls right here. Story two, story three. I wish they had story one uh, somewhere around here. There's quite a few of these, but they're just so cool. I'll show you guys what I got, like I said, in a minute, but I just wanted to kind of poke around. That thing's loud. All right, check this out. So at the last booth, a few booths ago, I bought this Commodore computer 1530 data cassette unit. But what's really cool, Ricky, get in here, watch, check this out. It's really clean, like it's mint condition. So I was like, you know what? I gotta try this out. I gotta check it out. I love super weird, a year old. But this is the weirdest thing. I know there's been a lot going on with the, uh, the Amico, so to say, but this was too interesting not to buy. Look at this, Rick. We got a Intellivision, I don't know what. Intellivision something, but the cartridges go like this. So you got Sea Battle, you got Black Belt Battle, and they're on television branded, and Hover Force. I have never seen anything like this in my life. It could be completely worthless or completely awesome, but regardless, it's worth the pickup because it's so freaking cool. That's it. Ooh, what you got? Ooh. Nintendo Switch double pack. What is that? Pokemon, Pokemon Diamond, Diamond Pokemon and Pearl. Shining Pearl. Are you buying that? Uh, that's a new game. <laughs> oh, there you go. This is a keeper. Oh, nice. I like it. I always like to buy me some like weird, obscure horror type stuff, and this is right up that alley. Elvira presents. It's the monster heads. <gasps> Look how scary she is. Elvira. What the heck is Tales from the Tube? This is a mouse pad. It looks almost like it's like, okay, obviously knocking on Tales from the Crypt. In World Industries. In World Industries. I'm very curious. It's like a surf company made this to be inspired by skateboarding and Tales from the Crypt. This walked upon this. The Intellivision. All right, Ricky, what do we get to the Intellivision morning? What would side, side pocket what would the Tommy time. Tallarico think? <laughs> all, right. all right, here we go. Boxing. I'm going to see if there's any. I've been kind of looking up games up. lately. Like, I, I actually know. I'm learning. I've been learning a lot lately about more of the vintage consoles. So, ooh, Night Stalker is a cool one. I love this one. Night Stalker, Microgasm. What's really cool is it seems like there's all the manuals for most of these games. So, no games that are really sticking out to me, but the console is always very cool. So, oh, this is really cool. Micro Surgeon. Never played this. It's like Surgeon Simulator. I like it. I found it. <laughs> well <laughs> <laughs> All right, our homie is, is going to sell me these for just five bucks. He knows they're not in great condition, but uh, they're basically, yep, they're going to be for my kid to literally just play basketball. And he's always playing basketball and always asking. So. Did you just say for my kid? <laughs> I know. I didn't say for my son on purpose, so I'm not <laughs> overdoing it. I don't want to overdo it, you know? Get the excitement. Some Zelda, and this is really nice. This Doug right here. I definitely love those, Ricky. You should keep an eye out for more of these. Who is this? Oh, the men behind people that do like artwork and cinema stuff. See, I love that kind go. of stuff. I love like cinema related magazines. There's also a lot of other magazines in here that we have to be careful not to show. Ricky, this pile's falling over. 
I got you, I got you. Oh, there we go, thank you. All right, yeah, I gotta put this down and start digging. All right, so literally after digging through filth magazines, I'll be honest, for a while, I'll show you guys what I grabbed in a minute. I got a whole bunch of like sci-fi and like Indiana Jones, basically cinema type stuff. I'll show you guys them in a minute, but Ricky and I are gonna dig more through here because we did just come across a bunch of this type of stuff as well. So I'm gonna dig through this now next with Ricky. You see anything cool, by the way, while you're love, there? Dude, I love Digimon. You do love Digimon. Do yeah, look at this. Power Rangers, Power Rangers, Power Rangers. Oh, look at this, dude. That's oh, actually no, rad. Saying. Okay, that's a cool one, Ricky. Power Rangers, oh my gosh, this is literally just a stat of Power Rangers. Like, it's endless. Look, oh, oh my, God. what? Oh, oh no, I'm sorry. Forgive me, Lord Zed, and just, Yep, this is uh, this is one of those days again. Help me, God. Super cool. Looks to be a vintage Dickies XL. I'm not sure if this is vintage. Look, from 1922. No, I'm just kidding. But it has that super vintage look. I really like this. I feel like this is what I used to wear skateboarding back in the day. I may have to pick this up. Actually, I really like it. What else we got? Some other. Oh gosh. Come on, Riffy boy. Bro, look at this. <laughs> Yo, that is so cool. Page Master Bendables, and it's in the box. I know, and there's a Jetsons one too. That's super sick, Ricky. Also, they got uh, Underdog. They got some Puzzle. Is there because Puzzle Palace? Puzzle Place. I remember these, but this is super cool. Man, Retro Rick would be pooping in his store right now to see this. You got, what's his name? Spuds or Spudnik? The dog? It's Spud. Spud? Yeah, but I'm curious. I'm curious what Dusty would want on this. I'm going to say he's going to want 20 bucks. I'm going to say the same thing. That's my guess. And the Jetsons one is really cool, too. Let's see. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. What, you have an idea in mind, Dusty, yet or not yet? Okay, I'll poke. Okay, I'll poke around. Here you go, Rick. So, is this Fire Red? I just picked this up last week. There we go. It has the proof. The official. And you can see Nintendo in there as well. What else you got? The other ones are so far comments. Oh, a great one for swords. Uh, don't know this one, Dungeons and Dragons, but Dungeons and Dragons is good. Um, and then there is Texas Hold'em, Lord of the Rings, and wow, they have the grip and everything. With one more game inside, Tomb Raider. This guy looks clean. Uh, I doubt. Flick, flick it on, and there's a game in it too. Or it, it works. Works. All right. I'll ask him. Wait, what was in the console? Uh, Tomb Raider. Oh, right. Yes. Okay. Oh man. So Ricky, I see what you're looking at. Oh, you got the chef? Chocolate salty balls? So I'm gonna go. <laughs> and then over here they have everything I was saying I liked. Look at this. Puppet films. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Old movie cinema. How the West was one. Oh my gosh, I love this. Oh, Flash Gordon. Is this a press kit? Oh no, not a press kit. Film facts. Look at this. Science. It is just this is awesome stuff, Ricky. You gotta show me what you found in a sec. All right. So I just wanted to say, if you're enjoying this video and the way it's edited, which is, if you notice, maybe a little more raw, a little bit less things happening, more just like what's going on at the swap meet, subscribe to my other channel called Pixel Plus. That's where we upload videos like this. The whole reason I'm doing the video like this today on Pixel Game Squad is to give you an example of kind of what we do with a little more raw. I know it's not for everybody, but some people really like it. So check out Pixel Plus. That'd be awesome. We love you and welcome back to the video. Here we go. More cool stuff coming. Good grief. Ooh, oh, that is actually sick. Okay, that's Mars Attacks. Dude, that is sick as a mother. Right, so that is, <laughs> I, I don't know what the price oh, is. Oh, like. Monkey Shines? But what? It's the premiere issue. Dude, that is super okay. sick. So, it's some old House of Horror stuff yep. down there. Guns and Roses, Guns and Roses banner. Batman. Oh my gosh. Right. You just so, hit the Batman, honey look at this though. beautifulness. Silence of the, oh my gosh. That's actually, dude, what the frick? It what? doesn't help though that these freaking Tony, Joe, and Austin. Gosh. <laughs> you know, I've always been a Christian my whole life and I've never doubted God until I met you guys. <laughs> Oh my gosh, aliens, alien, oh my. Okay. Bizarro. Right what the frick, dude? You couldn't have grabbed like a better scheme of cool stuff. Check this one out. Oh no, I already this saw, one. I saw Reagan. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know who she looks like? Who? <laughs> <laughs> how sick this single stitch is that Ricky just found. Screen Stars XL Wild 
Hills Wild West Dinner Extravaganza. Vintage and super cool work. And look at this, guys. Look at these magazines I just picked up. There is just unlimited sources of amazingness here. Close Encounters, Conan is so beautiful. Dark Crystal, Last Starfighter, one of the most underrated movies. Psycho, let's go, Robocop. Oh my gosh, just unreal beauty. Look at that little shop of horrors. So good, so good. Look at these, Ricky, super cool. It's like old VHS tapes, but I don't even know if they're like somebody necessary, like if they're legit. Oh, dude. It's the kind of thing people put together, screamers, live videos from 77 through 79. I don't know if it's like official. Okay, no way. But super cool. Yeah, that's oh, mine. Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, this <laughs> I love this kind of stuff. So we showed you what we got at this one. Here you go, Ricky, if you want to hold that for me for a second. But what I didn't show you guys is what I got at the last one. I'll go pretty quick because we've been showing you guys magazines for a while. Starlog. We got another future. Femme Fatale, one of my favorite ones right here. Oh my gosh, I'm already causing a mess. Laserdisc newsletter, Starlog, X-Files, another Starlog with Indiana Jones, another Starlog, another Starlog, another Starlog, and a Fangoria with Buffy Spite. So you bought this, Ricky? Wow, and that's vintage. Vintage. That is absolutely insane. 1988. 1988? Okay, so you scored. <laughs> I love this. I love this kind of stuff. <laughs> you scored. Oh my gosh. So I know a lot of people say we have problems and we have an addiction to buying things, but you guys haven't seen anything. Look at the stacks of people that are buying stuff from Dusty, like that's someone's stack, that's someone's stack. That guy right there, this guy right here, that's his stack. All that stuff is what he's buying. That's another person's stack. So next time you think Ricky and I need to chill, there you go, PC games. You know, lately I've been kind of picking them up more here and there and they're just feeling, is this two different games? So Doom 3, Doom 3, oh, the, the expansion pack, okay. And then there's a bunch more games over here, Dark Stone, I don't know anything about these. It's those days when I wish I researched this kind of stuff more. I know recently I got really lucky with um, finding Silent Hill games on PC. But, oh, this looks really cool. Thunderscape, that looks super cool. All right, I have to show this. Bro, he cool. just came over with this. I've never seen this before. Dude, I He's know. huge. Does he Does he work still? No, he doesn't, he, he pulled it. I mean, he's still got some voice in there, just the voice box needs to be worked on. Something about a like player. Gabby from Toy Story 3, 4? Gabby? Four. Four. Four, yep. Dude, that's sick, bro, <laughs> that is awesome. Another item that is made so much cooler by the branding, Top Gun. The Rust Master. Uh oh. He said he got me an anniversary gift? I want to see this come up in your. You want to see it? Okay, okay, I'll find a spot for it. Oh, you lie. You lie. You lie. This is an original. No. Theater. Double sided. That's Grail. What the That is Grail. So I'd rather have this than any other like Mario video game type poster. Are you sure? Yes. I've been, wow. I've been sitting on it for like two years. Wow. I'm never gonna use it. I will <laughs> absolutely, this will, I don't know what I'm gonna have to replace though. What will I replace? I think I can move my Zelda big thing over because that's like my biggest thing. Just, just get rid of the kiosk. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, thank you. This is yeah. amazing. That's for me and Jim. Dude, thank you. My oh. good, oh gosh. Oh, oh, we gotta go, we gotta go. <laughs> Whoa. I saw you walking by and I saw through the back. There's no way. There's no way. Here? Yeah, here. What the crap? And uh, Zelda in his cap. Were you shaking? I was shaking. Now I'm just had a heart attack. Did you get him for a decent deal? 40 bucks. Shut the, f look what he just got for $40. You're not gonna believe it. I just saw the splatter. No, look, 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 look. Oh, thank you guys. We love you guys, thank you. The controller with the uh, bloody world bomb. Oh my. <laughs> Gosh, uh, dude. Yeah, bro. Dude. And then, uh, this was some somewhere else. But it's oh complete. my gosh. Mm. Hey, well, good for you, dude. Congratulations. Hey, bro, and nice. that's actually good for us to show because we get told all the time it only happens to you guys. Everybody else, it never happens. It's only you and Ricky. Proof right there. Same swap meet with competition. We're all here. Good grief. That is proof right there. Big proof that it can happen to anybody. That, that's one of the bigger scores I've seen in a long time. Probably even bigger than a lot of our scores big. ever. That's pretty big. Turbo like stuff like that? 40 bucks? Well, what's the odds? Okay, so he found Turbo Graphics stuff this week. Yeah. Last week, we found Vectrek stuff with CIB. 
and like the week before I found like virtual boy stuff. Dude, this is it's getting gnarly. That's what I'm trying to tell people. People keep saying it's just it's just us, it's only us. It's not. What's up, bro? <laughs> Whenever I see people see see people staring at the camera, I give them some shine. You know? Hey, I forgot to tell you, I think there's gonna be a virtual boy here today. What? Our buddy was like, hey, if I'm setting up but I got a virtual boy, I'm like, I gotta go. Where is he? So riff I get him. So it doesn't get much cooler than just this. I just picked this up. It's from the 90s. It is a Taz legit glass, super heavy gumball machine from the 90s. This is super cool. When I walked up to the guy's booth, I saw it on the edge of the table. And funny enough, first time ever for me at the swap meet, I had to pay for it with Venmo at a swap meet. I've never done that, uh, but I was like, dude, I need this. I don't have the funds on me. I just got done dropping a bunch of money on that Pokemon stuff, which I'll show you guys in a little bit, or not Pokemon, that GBA stuff, uh, which I'll show you guys. All right, so I got this Game Boy right here, Game Boy Advance SP that works really well. Tested it up, looked at the screen, everything looked good. And the standout games in here were definitely Pokemon Fire Red, super rad to get that. Yoshi's Island, Dusty kind of just brought that over last minute um, when I was kind of standing around. Zelda Four Swords, this is all official. And this one was kind of a surprise. I didn't know it's like a 10 ish, 20 ish dollar game. But the fun, the fun for me is with Zelda Four Swords. Yeah, the other games are worth money as well, but this is the fun right here, man. Zelda games in this graphic styling is just something that is one of the most nostalgic looks ever in video games. Dare I say, Zelda. Guys, I don't have any friends anymore. They all left me. No! No! You guys wanna go to eat? Anybody? <laughs> oh man, dang it. Well, I just bought this thing. A Taz gumball machine. Pretty cool. So yeah, long story short, I got distracted talking to my friends, but 16-bit graphics type style, 8-bit to 16-bit is the best there is in graphic form. Well, at least in my opinion, that is. Ever heard the song, Stairway to Heaven? I think I found it. Squarespace, thank you so much for the continued support. I mean it. Squarespace gives people a powerful and beautiful online platform from which to create your website. Squarespace helps you connect your audience and generate revenue through gated members only content, manage members, send email communications, and leverage audience insights. All in one easy to use platform. It also helps create a community, which I love, with a fully integrated commenting system that supports threaded comments, replies and likes, use their powerful blogging tools to categorize, share, and schedule your posts too. You can extend Squarespace's already powerful e-commerce capabilities with Squarespace extensions. These new and amazing third-party tools can help you manage inventory, promote products, streamline bookkeeping, reconcile and file sales tax, and ship items across the globe. I love that you can display your posts from your social profiles on your website. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash pixelgamesquad to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Seriously, again, thank you, Squarespace. I love you, thank you for supporting, and thank you guys who've supported as well. All right, so I just got home and this little Intellivision thing totally works. I'm not sure exactly how to use it yet. These are just overlays. I was wondering about these, how there's like artwork on that. That's overlays, you can peel them off, which is good, it means they're new, but if I push it down, you can see all the electronics light up right behind it. I just haven't taken off the overlays yet. So I'm not sure how this thing works, but just wanted to say that it works. I also should say that I tested out the Pokemon and guess what, the save states work. Everything works great. For my son.